everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, today I've got something a little bit different um, than I've ever done before, so I apologise if this goes horribly wrong. Um, I'm going to be doing a what's in my handbag. So, first of all about the handbag, I got this, this is quite an old handbag now, I got it I think last year. It's from New Look. It's one of my favourite like summer bags. It's really big, so it's got loads of stuff in it. Um, yeah, I got it from New Look. It's got some really nice, as you can tell, it's a bit, um, it's well used. Um, it's got this really pretty summery, like blue and white stripe. I've got these, don't really do anything. There's nothing. <laughs> the pockets don't really lead to anywhere. Um, and it's got this pretty, Pretty tassel. See, it's got these um, like stiff handles, so it sits really well on your arm like this, and it's not too. Um, it's really comfortable to wear, so I really like that. Um, and yeah, it's one of my favourites go-to summer bags. The only thing is, it's because it's so big, it holds so much stuff, and I have a tendency to just fill it up. Um, and all of a sudden, I'll go through my bag, and I'll have so much stuff that I don't need in it. Um, but thankfully I've just switched my handbags over so there's not too much stuff in it yet and it's not too heavy. But let's get started. So the first thing that I've pulled out of my handbag is my wallet. This this wallet, I've, I bought it from Primark literally years ago and it hasn't, um, it has, it's really lasted well. Like it's got loads of pockets and it's got a snap closed purse thing. I love that. Um, so yeah, my purse. The next thing I'm pulling out is my recycle, my, my reusable bag, which I got from uh, B and M again ages ago. Um, and it's really useful because I always leave the bags when I go shopping. I always leave bags in the car, but I never bring them into the shop, and I always end up buying loads more bags. So I've got hundreds of bags. So I thought I'll get one of these. I keep it in my bag and if I'm only going in for like a couple of bits I normally think oh I'll get a bag and then I open my bag I see this and I'm like oh actually I've got one so that's cool that's the next item next I'm pulling out okay so this is my change purse because um I have my the on this bit sometimes if I've got a lot of change in it it doesn't um it will just open itself if it's too too much change, so I just put my change in here. Um, so yeah, it's just a little change wallet. It's also the, it's also I can put like a couple of bank cards and like my ID and stuff. So it's a nice little purse to when I go out. It fits in small handbags, so that's cool. Tissues, <laughs> two packets of tissues, very important. Um, it's also it's been really nice here. So the last couple of days I've had a bit of hay fever, so that's why they're in they're in the handbag. Um, some hand cream, or <laughs> also very important. This one's from um, it's made by an essential oil company called DoTerra, um, and I got this for my birthday a couple of years ago. Um, and it's called Citrus Bliss Hand Lotion. It's really really nice, and it's made with like an orange essential oil. Um, yeah, and it's really nice. It smells really 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 fresh, so I like that. I'm not sure why these are in here, but I've got two packets of polos. I literally have no idea why they're in there. Um, <laughs> some earrings um, from when I went out last time. Apparently I decided to take my earrings off and put them in my handbag and I have just found them now. So that's good. <laughs> and oh yeah, another pair of earrings. Um, more than likely the same reason. So yeah, earrings. A little hairbrush. I love this little brush because it's so like, it gets the knots out really well. Um, it's got a comb and it's got a brush end and it folds up and it just, yeah, so that's really cool. It goes through my hair really well as well because I've got really, really thick hair um, and these bristles go through it really well. So there's my, my hairbrush. We got now. Oh, a perfume. This is this is uh, called Suddenly 
Madam Glamour. It's from Lidl. Um, and this is the perfume I wear to work because it's, it smells really nice. It smells a little bit similar to Coco Mademoiselle. Um, but it was like 3 99 from Lidl. <laughs> so that's my work perfume. Um, what else have I got? Oh, I've got this little from doTERRA as well. I've got this little um, little pouch and it's got some like spaces for mini bottles of essential oils. Um, I've got, as I said, I get hay fever. So I've got like these three kind of relieve a bit of hay fever. So that's uh, lavender, lemon and peppermint. Um, and then melaleuca and yeah, on guard. So I keep those around. I keep those in my handbag and it's in a nice little... It's in a nice little um, thing, it can go on a keychain or I just keep it in the pocket. But yeah, I keep that in there. An inhaler. <laughs> a packet of mayonnaise <laughs> from, I think, um, I don't know where that's from. Ke uh, fish and chip shop maybe. This is a real like what's in my handbag because I have not gone through this beforehand. Um, I'll talk about them later. This is like a little like lip. I actually made this myself. Um, it's like a rescue lip when my lips get really dry and really trapped, really chapped. I put this one on. I made it. I made it myself from. I think it's got like beeswax and shea butter and some essential oils. And it's really nice on the lips. Like yeah, when during the winter when they're really trapped, really chapped and dry, it really just like. Stops them being sore, so I like that. I've got some magnesium oil spray. And um, this is this is really good actually. Like if you've done if you've done some like exercise and you're a bit achy, you can spray this on and it all like absorb into your skin and it kind of helps take some of the aches away. But um it's also just really good if you're if you're feeling like tired or stuff like that, you can spray it on. It comes out, um, it's it's not oil, it's called magnesium oil spray, but it's not oil. Um, it's just like magnesium and water mixed together, but it's got like a really oily texture. Um, so I spray it like on the back of my hands sometimes if I'm feeling really tired. Um, and that just helps to give you like a boost. So yeah, I've got that. And next we come to the lipsticks. There are a lot of lipsticks in here. Just a warning. So, okay, the first one. This is called Colour Lip Gloss. It's a cheap one. I think it came in one of those, um, you know, like when you buy like a palette and it's got like things that come out and it's got like an eyeliner and a lip gloss and like blusher and foundation and eyeshadow and like little brushes and it comes in like a box. I think it was in one of those. Um, but it's a really nice colour, it looks really nice on my lips, so that one's in there. This one is from Revlon. It's um, a matte balm and it comes out, I'll do a swatch on my hand. It's really pigmented, it comes out really, it's quite a dark, deep red. Um, and it's matte as well, which I love. So it comes out, it stays on very well once it's like dried on. So that's um, that's that one, the, the Revlon Matte Balm. And this colour is, oh, 225. Yeah. Sugary, I think it's called. But yeah, 225. Yeah. Next, moving on. So this one's um, like a... Uh, a nude coloured lip gloss from Kiko and it's supposed to like it says like extra volume and stuff on it and it's supposed to like pump up your lips a bit uh, but it's just a really nice nude colour and it just gives like a bit of shine without giving much much colour and that's um it's also on this really flexible um wand which I haven't seen on many uh, mini lip glosses they're normally that that applicator they're normally the like the stiff one but it just it's just there's no color really it's just like 
to just shimmer, but it's not plain, it's not clear. Um, so I like, do like that one. Next we have Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss Essence by Essence. This is a really good one as well. Um, this is in the colour Flirt Alert. So it's kind of like a pinky colour. But again, it's a lip gloss, but it's really well, it's really pigmented, so you don't need much. And it's on this like tulip shaped applicator. Um, and I'm not, I'm not normally one that wears a pink lip, what that wears a pink lip because it just doesn't really suit me. But this is a little bit more, it's a bit of a darker pink, so it's more like a light red than a pink. But yeah, that I like that one. And a Rimmel lip 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 liner, sorry. That is not saying the colour that it's in, but it's this like kind of like a nudie pink colour. Love that one. It's really nice, and I like this one as well because it's one of the ones that like you can. They like screws up and down, rather than just a pencil, and that goes on really well as well. It's really nice. Um, if you're gonna do like lip the same like a lip liner all over the lip rather than just lining the lips this one's a really nice one for that and I also wear it quite often with this one they don't they go they're quite complimentary those colors and then oh this one is jelly belly very cherry lip um lip balm it actually tastes really good as well. Like it smells like cherry, but it also tastes a little bit like cherry. So that's, um, and it's red as well. So it's got, it hasn't got like, it hasn't really got any pigment in it, but it just gives like a very slight color to the lips. So that one's good. Um, oh, another lip balm. This is Nuke's Rev de Miel. Um, this one, I got this in a set for Christmas. It had loads of Nukes, Nukes products, like miniature ones, and this was in there, and I really like it. It tastes like honey. It doesn't taste like honey. It smells like honey, um, which is really nice, and it's really like moisturising on the lips. I'm actually wearing that one today, so I'll put a bit on. What do we have next? Oh, this is another Revlon one. Um, this is a, like a lip gloss, a lip balm, a blah. it's not lip gloss or a lip balm, it's lipstick in the colour 705 um, and it's really really nice and it's, it actually smells really nice as well but it winds up like that, it's quite a long thingy, I'll give you a bit and it's quite like a muted colour but it's got a bit of like it's not a gloss, it's a lipstick, but it's got like a satiny finish to it. And you can see that there, it's that one. That one there. Um, and that's one of my really favourite colours. I love that one. The next one I've got is this, called Velvet Lippy. I don't, this one, I don't even, I'm not even sure why it's in, it might have been in there from last summer. <laughs> Because I got it in um, in one of my glossy box things, and it's really the wrong colour for me. It's really peach toned, and I'm it doesn't really suit me very well. It doesn't suit my skin tone, but it's like a matte um, a matte lip with lip cream. So that's that one. Like it's not that different, but on my face it comes out too light. It just doesn't. It's probably left over from last summer, but it's still in there. Uh, the next one is. I told you there was a lot of lipsticks in this handbag. That's one, two, three, four, five, nine so far. And I've still got one. Um, so this is Rimmel in one colour 107. And it's like a lasting finish. It's the Kate, it's one of the Kate ones. And that's really, well, I don't know what's happened to the end there. That's a really, really deep red. I'll put that one along the top. That's along the top there. It's a really deep red, and I hardly touched that, so it was really pigmented as well. Um, and sometimes, you know, sometimes you just need a red lip, don't you? 
And the next one is another Essence, oh, that's rubbed off. But it's the same, um, same make, same brand as this one, in the same um, style of lip gloss, but it's just red. And it's got the, it's really nice, I love this one. It smells really nice as well. Oh yeah, it smells like, kind of smells like cherry. Red quite often smells like cherry. So there's that one, it's got the same like tulip sort of lip thing. But it's a really nice, it's a really nice pigmented lip gloss. And it doesn't like, if you eat or drink something, it doesn't like spread all over your face, which I feel like some, they kind of spread to around your lips and it's, it doesn't really move that one. And the last thing that is in my handbag is a Revlon Red Colour Stay Wind Up um, Lip Liner. There we go. And uh, it's in Red Rouge. So that's that one. And that's another really good one if you want like a matte red lip and you just colour your whole lip in. It, it lasts really well. Once it's dried it won't move. So that's it. That's what's in my bag. It's completely empty now. Um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please click the like button if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks. Bye.